It's a good community. Usually they all get together, everybody will join in, just get involved in everything, really. How long have you lived in Parkman? 25 years. Right. 25 years. Okay, and are you quite, uh, are you quite well known around here then? <gasps> well known. <laughs> I believe um, I missed you on the climbing wall earlier. You did as well. I was the only grandma that climbed that wall. Um, it's a shame I didn't get that on film, I know. Really. Um, so, what else have you been involved in today then? Well, I've just been trying to help out, really, because there is a lot to do. It's a lot of hard work. I mean, I've been up since I past five this morning, making fancy costumes. Right. And trying to get really involved in it. And I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. And do you want to tell us a bit about your costume? Well, it was spare of the moment. It's my son's T-shirt, his shorts, my nephew's socks, my daughter's boots, and I found the wig. <laughs> so, it's cost us nothing. Right, and um, we were just wondering, uh, Dennis the Menace has got a little dog. Where's your little dog today? You want me to tell the truth? It's took off to Dusty Miller. <laughs> I let it off the lead, and it went to Dusty. What do you think about the food stall that they've got on today? Taiwan was excellent, really excellent. The idea of the Oriental food stall was to give community members a taste of different foods from different areas. It was an opportunity for people to learn about different cultures through food and imagery. Well, it's about getting everybody together, everybody, the community, the village, to get together and enjoy, just have an enjoyable day, really. And we've been quite lucky today with the weather, really. We've been very lucky with the, been very lucky with the weather today, yeah. And we've had a good turnout. I don't think anybody could fault it, really. There does seem to be quite a community spirit here, and even talking to the policewoman, she, she's got involved in everything. I mean, that, that, you don't see that very often, a town this size, really. Well, I've only seen the policewoman a couple of times, and it's like you say, she has got involved in it. She's helped Valder quite a lot. What do you think would happen if, if the event had to stop? It'll be really a shame for the for the kiddies really because the kids do like to see their parents and everybody getting together and enjoying themselves. Part of fun day is brilliant and um, there's lots of bounty castles um, and stalls. There's a climbing wall, there's running races, fancy dress competitions, uh, art and craft workshop and lots of stalls. There's the tombola and a scarecrow competition. And so, what does 2010 hold in store for the Parton Fun Day? Everyone I spoke to on the day seemed to talk about how the Fun Day just gets bigger and bigger every year. So I guess for next year, who knows what to expect.
that is the complete area of Baden. It's a wonderful city. There's not as many people here as what there is in India. There's over one billion. But people are a lot more friendly here. You have a chef there and you have people dressed up like clowns. This is their normal look. This is what they wear every day of the week when they go to work. And that is the end of the journey. Thank you very much. I can I have my 4,000 rupees now, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'm the youth development worker. I work alongside Balder in the in the youth club. So <laughs> I can't do filming. <laughs> Would you like to reveal your true identity for the camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I went down at 8 o'clock in the morning and helped set up things. I did all kinds of jobs like help carry chairs out and 